Well, the Enoch Pratt Free Library and the Maryland Food Bank are joining up once again for the Food for Friends program. And joining us this morning to talk about it is Megan McCorkle and we have Joanna Warner. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming on. So this is really a great way to feed the hungry and help eliminate fees at the library, right? That's right. So the Food for Friends program um, actually used to be called Food for Fines. So if you've come into our library a few times, you may have seen those signs up in January. But of course, the Pratt Library is now a fine-free library. You don't have to pay those overdue fines. So we renamed it Food for Friends because we're so happy about our partnership mm -hmm. with the Maryland Food Bank. So you can come in anytime during the month of January bring an unexpired can of food, bring several of them, and we will take a dollar off your library fees. Nice. Now fees are uh, what you have to pay if you have those lost or damaged books, mm -hmm. if you lost your library card, those types of things. So it's uh, up to $50 will eliminate fees. Very nice. Yeah. And is this ongoing for how long now? Uh, the entire month of January. We okay. always do it for the month of January. Perfect. perfect. Yeah. And, and Joanna, talk to us about the need because there's a right. lot of hungry people in Maryland. Right, right. Even though Maryland is one of the wealthiest states in the nation, about one in nine Marylanders are food insecure, wow. meaning they don't have regular access to healthy foods. That's more than 665,000 mm -hmm. individuals who don't know where their next meal is coming from. And to put that in another way, uh, that's enough people to fill M&T Bank Stadium mm. for every home game of the season. My goodness, all yep. right. Uh, and last year, uh, you guys collected, what, over 7,000 cans, right? Yes, yeah, right. so it was over 7,000, I think 7,000 pounds of food. It was right. enough to feed more than 6,100 oh, seven, hungry Marylanders. 7,000 pounds, wow, even yep. more. Yeah, it was wonderful. It was mm -hmm. a great response from the community. Um, and it's really easy. You can go to any of the Pratt Library's 22 locations. Mm -hmm. yep. And so why does this partnership kind of make sense? Well, what's great about this partnership it's the timing in that it's just after the holidays. Um, we get a great amount of support during the holidays, but the fact is hunger doesn't end once the holidays no, are it over. Mm -hmm. It's a year-round struggle and uh, we love kicking off this uh, campaign every year in January. Um, because there's still very much a need in the winter months to come. Mm -hmm. Is mm -hmm. there any particular goal like for this year? We always like to collect as much as possible, yep. um, but it's always so heartwarming to see how much our community gives back. All you have to do is go to prattlibrary.org, click on the Food for Friends link, uh, and it'll show you all of the things that we're looking for for you to bring so that you can help your neighbors in need. <laughs>